Hello, this is Shadil Reis. This is CVI 2018, Denver, Colorado. With me is uh, Ahmed Yunus. He's an interventional uh, cardiology fellow at Case Western and University Hospital in Cleveland. Welcome, Ahmed. Thank you. Thank you. First for of all, me. congratulations for being a finalist for the peripheral uh, challenging cases. Um, can you just walk us through the challenge of the case? Absolutely. So, uh, this is a case. I mean, we talked about it, but this is a 65-year-old elderly middle-aged female. She got transferred to us after um, she's known to have iliac stents and she presented with lower extremity pain to one of the hospitals and subsequently she got referred to us. Um, she's a functional lady baseline. Uh, they tried to do angioplasty, got better afterwards, but then got worse. The pain required narcotics, which is unusual. Mm -hmm. So she got transferred to us. Um, we took her straight to the cath lab and I think that's one of um, the highlights of, of the case that early intervention will probably will help uh, changing the results. So she was taken straight to the cath lab and uh, using a new technology, intravascular imaging, which in, in 2018, it is mandatory now to use intravascular imaging. Um, we diagnosed that her stents have thrombosed, which was really un unclear in the outside hospital uh, angiograms. And we used some mechanical thrombectomy using the penumbra device. Oh, nice. um, Final angiographic results were, were excellent. We placed two stents and the lady walked out of the hospital. We actually see her in clinic still and uh, walking into our clinic. What was your anticoagulation strategy when she came? So she came in on heparin drip. She was on aspirin in addition to Plavix. Um, but still we suspected that this is a fresh thrombus that occurred over the last uh, week prior to, to presentation. Mm -hmm. Um, so she got discharged on Coumadin this time. Coumadin, aspirin, Plavix, with an intent to drop um, the aspirin at some point in a and month. And you said it's bilateral iliac stents, right? She That's did. Yeah. And wh where did you put the penumbra at? Was it uh, CAT8, CAT9? So the penumbra device, we went by, by both bilateral, bilateral uh, common femoral arteries, yeah. and it is an eight French system. Yeah. So uh, we go up with our um, guiding catheter, um, and it's constantly suctioning blood and thrombus. Yeah. And we did it both sides. Nice. Yeah. And uh, no standing up for that, just... So uh, we did. So th that's, that's the highlight of actually of the case. So we did intervascular imaging. The working diagnosis that the stents were undersized, the index procedure, the stents were undersized for the sizing of her iliacs in the aorta. So we ended up putting two eight O stents and building a new carina and the display work. Nice, okay, very interesting. So uh, shifting gears, uh, how CVI is different compared to other uh, cardiology meetings yeah. as a fellow uh, going to be an early career soon? So uh, this is my first time attending uh, CVI and I actually heard about it from, my, uh, from social media and from my mentor, Dr. Uh, Mary Shishibor, and we were encouraged to attend to see what's, what's new. Um, as a fellow in training, you get to see all the leaders um, in the field, the expertise, learn from them. And more importantly, um, you get exposed to the cutting edge uh, technology that is available around. Walking on the second floor, you see all this kind of technology that you never thought we would use that five years ago. So I think it's great for fellows in trainings, early career, come here, um, learn, connect with the leaders. and get mentored for a few years. Absolutely. And the, the, one of the highlights here is that the meeting is offers a bridge for fellows to, for early career and to have a podium time, which is, I don't think other meetings have Indeed. that privilege. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Like other big, huge meetings that include other subspecialties, fellows in training or early careers may or may not have the opportunity to get into Absolutely. the podium, which is not really the case in here. Absolutely. Well, nice talking to you, Ahmed. Again, congratulations Thank for you. winning. And uh, watch this video and the other videos on CVI website as well as the YouTube, YouTube channel. This is Shadir Reis from Denver, Colorado. Thank you. Thank you.